Now let's visit Hawaii to get an update on the current situation there from our very own Alfred Asenas. Alfred. Hello, ha, Alma. Alfred. How are you? It I'm is good. now 3:34 in the morning here, so I'm not gonna raise my voice too much. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Alma. <laughs> Hello. So, how is it? How is it over in Hawaii? Okay, so we are on the first day of um, this 14-day quarantine, uh, mandatory self-quarantine that the, the state has issued. I think we, we have a, a poster of that, if you can just pull it up real quick. So, ganito ang uh, proseso, no? Let's just, pick on, uh, let's just pick on our director, Bobby, here, uh, who's been longing to, to visit Hawaii in a long time. Unfortunately, he has to be quarantined. He has to go to his assigned uh, whatever hotel or whatever uh, destination he'll be in for 14 days. He cannot go anywhere um, to make sure that uh, he is clear of any um, uh, the virus uh, that may be lingering. Now, if, if for example, he, he is only going to stay there for less than 14 days, Sad to say, he has to stay quarantined the whole time before, <laughs> before heading back. So that's the policy uh, that's going on right now. Now, here's, uh, here's another uh, unintended consequence, Alma, as far as uh, the, the tourists are concerned. Yes, we, we, for the most part, we welcome uh, the, the, the visitors here. Unfortunately, lately, uh, you, you, we have uh, been, received reports of uh, tourists being harassed um, uh, because of you know, the perception that they may be carrying the virus. Okay, uh, we, uh, we, we saw some outlets uh, of, of, their, uh, of their, their cars uh, being scratched or, or, or being, um, you know, being uh, shouted at by, uh, by residents or, or other people. So we, we do want to emphasize to, to those um, in Hawaii uh, who are watching us to, to let's maintain that aloha spirit even in these, uh, in these trying times uh, and not, and not uh, get these, uh, uh, our visitors in, into any kind of, of trouble. Leon, um, I do want to uh, update uh, the, the situation here with cases, which right now is at 95 cases, uh, which is up from six. Uh, the other day. But here's an interesting uh, statistic. Uh, we did report uh, the other day that there was one confirmed death. We're taking that, or the, 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 the health department here is taking that back because uh, the, the, the patient was misdiagnosed. And so I think there was a tweet by the mayor of Honolulu, uh, Kirk Caldwell, that uh, they regret the error uh, they regret the error for for uh, misreading uh, the findings uh, of of the patient. So, right now we're still sitting at zero uh, deaths. Uh, we're we're hoping that stays the case for the long haul. Now, there's also some perceptions uh, because of the the stressful situation and the dyna dynamics of it that uh, there was a, a perception that there was friction between the governor of Hawaii, David Ige, and his lieutenant governor, Josh Green. And I think there was a tweet uh, by the governor um, that, we, that we shared with you uh, to make it clear that, that there is no friction between them. Uh, at first, there, there, was, there, was, uh, there was a report that uh, Lieutenant jo Governor Josh Green was being banned from the meetings, coordination, planning um, in, in, in the fight against COVID-19 here. So um, I think there's just uh, uh, some adjustments as to how uh, they're leading um, the, the fight against the disease here in Hawaii. So we'll see the developments uh, of that. Now, I think we already showed some videos of uh, military personnel uh, going through some readiness uh, processes. Ikanga may panawagan, especially including the, the Hawaii National Guard here for for those who may have retired or left the, the military to, to consider coming back and, and serving their country again, uh, specifically for Hawaii National Guard, they've, um, uh, they've activated about 100 plus uh, personnel and they're actually calling for more to, to, to come back to serve, uh, serve their country. 
Now, uh, there are some medical specialties that they're looking for, which uh, are mostly in the medical field. Uh, your anesthesiologists, your, your nurses, um, practitioners and whatnot. So, um, and I think also the medical, uh, uh, the medical institutions here, the hospitals are also calling back uh, retired uh, doctors, nurses, uh, uh, specialists to, uh, to serve again and help uh, in the fight against the, uh, the disease. Now, um, I think we also showed the uh, uh, part of the beach there uh, near Waikiki. Uh, as you know, the, the state of Hawaii also issued a stay-at-home order. This was actually shot before. Uh, before that took place, uh, and and um, we the, the governor the, the uh, and the mayors are encouraging uh, to to stay at home, work at home, uh, and to only conduct uh, essential business like uh, like buying groceries or picking up uh, medications. Um, and and um, we we just want to remind our, our residents here and even our visitors to limit their exposure outside to to help uh, to prevent the spread. Of the COVID-19 here in the island, Alma. During your mandatory 14-day um, quarantine, are there limitations to uh, the movement in your city's uh, quarantine policies? Now, um, we here in the in, in the media community have asked uh, uh, some more specific guidance on that, because uh, even even if we we gave you a, a snapshot of the freeway in the streets, even here in our neighborhood, there, there's still cars roaming around. And, and really, um, because of the fact that there are some except, exceptions, like uh, I mentioned the, um, uh, those uh, who need to buy food, those who work in, in, in the medical community, those who, who work for the government, uh, you know, uh, providing essential services you know, uh, to, to combat this, uh, this spread. Um, you will see some, some activities out in the streets still. Um, but for, for, for the rest of us who don't have to, uh, we, we do emphasize um, uh, to, to heed the precautions of, of our respective governments uh, to, to stay at home, work at home, and, and to just conduct the business uh, and, and let this thing pass. Mm -hmm. Earlier um, there were military. So, you showed us some... Uh, Military personnel over there, they're taking care of the medical supplies, did you say? Medical um, supplies and... Uh, what uh, the, what uh, the DOD shared with us is the, uh, the processing. Uh, when, when someone gets, uh, gets activated or mobilized, they have to go through their uh, screening for, for their personal records, uh, the mm -hmm. shots they're they're taking they're being taken their temperature mm -hmm. so that's the normal uh, drill uh, for 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 personnel who are trying to get back into active duty status to make sure that they're healthy enough they're that they're fit enough to to serve okay so um, what about um, actions that the civic organizations are taking to help out with medical supplies food uh, okay sorry you can't hear me Okay, um, again. I'm sorry, I lost, uh, I, I could not hear you. Okay, so what actions are the civic organizations there taking to help out with the medical supplies, services, food uh, for the uh, population, for the residents? Yes, and, and there's also, um, I did share some previous reports about uh, some, of the, some of the other legislatures, and that's what is causing the friction, and some, and some uh, critics is, why not shut down the entire um, island state to really be able to, to flatten out that curve? The problem with that, Alma, uh, and just to, to remind, we are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We have a lifeline that has to, to, stay, uh, to stay flowing. Um, commerce, uh, the delivery of goods, uh, the delivery of goods uh, right now, uh, you know, just the basic needs. And we have to make sure, and, and uh, the, those in the, working in, in, in our harbors, in, in the airports, continue to maintain uh, those conditions, ideal enough that those, those goods continue to flow in because um, you know, uh, people uh, need, need, to, need to buy milk or, or sorry, need, need to buy some food um, and, and, and other products like, like toilet paper. <laughs> and, and so um, the governor is, is very clear about not to not to cut that off uh, in a way. So 
it, it's um, it's it's not the perfect uh, it's not a perfect solution, but it is a way in which um, we here can can defeat a COVID nineteen uh, yeah. outbreak. Mm -hmm. So everybody is worried about our frontliners, our health workers. So how is the Hawaii government taking care of our health workers over there? You know, Alma, um, even before this crisis uh, began, we've already had um, a shortage of doctors, uh, nurses, and medical and healthcare professionals. And uh, how are we dealing th with this uh, situation now, knowing that we still have that shortage? And we may still have that shortage even long after this crisis uh, blows over. So, you know, um, the University of Hawaii uh, continues to, to market its, its, uh, its world-class uh, medical program. Uh, and and the, the government, the state government here, and even um, in, in the federal government, uh, you know, here uh, that, that uh, look, always looks for and hires uh, uh, medical, uh, medical professionals. Uh, we will, uh, you know, we can expect them to continue in that recruitment effort. Uh, that's, the, that's the only way we can, we, we can really promote uh, for those who are interested, who are in the medical field, who are interested in, in serving here in Hawaii, whether you're, probably uh, after the crisis blows over because mm -hmm. most likely we're still going to, uh, to face uh, some shortages of medical folks. Given that, uh, and I just remembered that we're 20% of the, the, the population here are, are your, uh, what you consider your, your elderly, your senior citizens, because this is a, also a very large uh, retirement community, which we also continue to monitor. Uh, especially with, uh, with the spread of this disease. All right. Thank you, Alfred. Uh, please keep the uh, updates coming. We're here just as uh, interested in how other communities cope with this crisis as well. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you for your time. Yes, thank you, Alma. And this is Alfred Asenas from Hawaii. We live in interesting times.